Hello, welcome to Pathagonia. This is Jay. To get, today we are going to talk about erythema nodosa, where you get erythema without ulcerations, usually on the bilateral anterior shins. They are painful to touch and associated with autoimmune and infectious disease as well, although the exact etiology is not known. And when you get a case of erythema nodosum or a case of kind of paniculitis, the kind of prototypical septal paniculitis is erythema nodosum. So that when your staff asks you, what kind of paniculitis is this? And they talk about septal paniculitis, your number one differential is erythema nodosum. So, Thank you to University of Michigan for these online pathology slides. They're very invaluable for pathology residents and staff alike. So make sure to check them out if you already haven't. So right here we see recuts of a punch biopsy of one of the sh uh, shins that has erythema nodosum. So from low power, I see that the lesion is predominantly in the dermis as well as the subcutis at, because I could appreciate the um, adipocytes deeper down the punch biopsy. So before we go there, let me just check the epidermis. There's basket weave orthokeratosis. Um, there's a little bit of acanthosis with, without uh, some loss of the reedy ridges. There's some fibrosis in the uh, papillary dermis and reticular dermis, but the main lesion, and there's some hemorrhage here, although I'm not sure if it's artifactual or um, actual, is in the dermis. So what I've always been confused for the longest time between septal and lobular paniculitis. So septal paniculitis is any inflammation in between the adipocytes, the lobules of adipocytes. And lobular paniculitis is predominantly inflammation in the lobules of the adipocytes and the subcutis. For real life, you generally get a spectrum of both septal and lobular paniculitis. So if it's hard sometimes to tell the difference, that's okay because it's often mixed. So depending on the stage of erythema nodosum, you'll get mixed inflammation. If it's acute, you'll get predominantly neutrophils or more neutrophils in the septum. Um, later stages, you'll get histiocytes and lymphocytes. As we can see here, I see predominantly lymphocytes and some histiocytes. So this is, I'm thinking more of a chronic stage there's a lot of fibrosis in the background as well. And then you'll also get some inflammation spilling out into the, the lobules. And we can see here, there's some chronic inflammation as well, as well as some fat necrosis. And your characteristic finding for erythema nodosum, when, if, you, if you get asked by staff, are these Meischer radial granulomas. And what these are, are, well, let me try to find a good one. These are these collection of histiocytes. And the reason why they're called Meischer radio granulomas is because these granulomas will have like a cleft like space. So that's your, um, that's why it's specifically called Meischer radial granulomas. Let's see if we can find a better one. Some cleft-like spacing here as well. So, sorry I couldn't find the, the best example, but they are here. So just to recap, everything in the dosum is kind of, it, it's a, the prototypical septal paniculitis 
it's present on the anterior shins, it's tender to touch, there is no ulceration. You'll predominantly have septal inflammation. In the early phase, it'll be neutrophils. In the late stage, it'll be lymphocytes and uh, histiocytes. You'll want to look for the Meischer radial granulomas, which are a collection of histiocytes with kind of this cleft-like spacing interspersed among them. And that is erythematosum. Thanks for watching.